Tommy Parker, and this is Inside Track. It's a pleasure to meet you. How long have you actually been ordained, Reverend? I've been ordained for 34 years. Cool, cool. What exactly made you start wanting to record this hip-hop gospel trend you got going on right now? I had a dream and a vision. This is what started me into the hip-hop gospel. Uh, bringing the older generation and the younger generation together Talk as about one it. Hmm. Uh, through the Word of God. And this has been my vision and my dream for some while now. And I just decided it was time to bring forth what God has given me to bring forth. Amen. To bring us together, as I said, the older generation and the younger generation together. This is what my dream is and my vision. So, Reverend, how many songs have you done to date so far? Actually, three songs I've done so far. Okay. What's the first one you recorded? The first one is Mojo. Tell us about that. Well, Mojo is a song that in this age, date, and time, we have so many problems. And so many problems on Facts. top of problems. So, I just, I came up with Mojo. That's just the devil's work. And I just came up with Mojo, which is the only mighty Jesus only. And I came with that song to just say, we're going to just crush it. Say to them, you got your mojo working. Mm. Just not going to work on Facts. God's children. Facts. Okay? Facts. And this is why I came up with the song Mojo. Because in this age and time, we have so many problems, as I said before. And this is, the you got your mojo working, but it's just not going to work on God's children. Facts. Can you tell us who's on the song with you? Who's... Who's, who's featuring in that record? Uh, Emmy Grams, uh, uh, Lenny Ann Porter, which Emmy Grams is my son, and uh, Leanne is my granddaughter, and uh, Amanda, uh, Amanda Sheets is on also. Okay, okay, okay. What's the what's the song you done after that one? I know you got another uh, one out yes, there. Yes, most definitely, definitely. I have uh, He's Alive, mm. and He's Alive is just, God is alive. He's so much alive today. And the world needs to know this, that God is alive. He's not dead. He lives within us. Amen. And 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 I came up with that because he's coming he's coming back also. He's definitely coming back. For and, real. The, and the and the people of the world need to know that God is alive. He's not dead. He's definitely not dead. He is definitely alive because he lives within you, mm. in you, and that's what uh, promoted me to do. He's alive. Yeah, I know. Now, I, now, I know you have one, a slow one, uh, with, uh, with, the, uh, with the granddaughter. Yeah. Most definitely. Um, definitely. Calling your name. Tell us definitely. about calling. We need to know about calling your name because there's been a lot of talk about that one. You know what I'm saying? Tell us about that one. What was the inspiration behind calling your name? What? What was the the, the, the the strength that made you do that one? Because that's a deep record. Yes, it is. Very, very, very much so. I was sitting in the studio and uh, uh, this little boy, uh, I think it was uh, his son. Uh, Who's son? It was uh, Midnight Beats. Okay, Midnight. Yes, Big up the Midnight. midnight. Yes, love him, love him. And so his son was sitting there and it was kind of lunchy time. He says... Uh, I'm hungry, and we I ordered dinner, and he says, uh, "Well, save some for, uh, for for me, and save some for my mom." And so he says, "And my name is written on my piece, which was pizza at the time that we ordered." Okay. And so I, I it just it just touched me when this little kid said, "Save some for mama," and my name is written on. It. It, it, it just touched my heart, and I thought about Jesus Christ in the book of Revelations, which our names is written in, and it inspired me to write this song, uh, Jesus is calling your name. He's calling your name. That's deep, and, Reverend. And, and you won't deep. be the same. Once Jesus calls your name, you're not going to ever be the same, so you don't have to worry about it. So I put together that song, the book of Revelations, and he's calling your name. So you better get ready because Jesus is coming back one day. And he's coming back for only the righteous and pure in heart shall see God. So
so this little little young baby five years old inspired me to do it and I don't care you can listen to that song whether you eating chips right whether you taking uh, right. uh, a little relaxation uh, my music is to be played anywhere anytime I don't discriminate where my music is played because the word of God is definitely the word of God right well, well, Ron, that you have another song um, that's coming out in November yes, it's really hot and I heard they pushed definitely. it back because they don't want to give everything now they want to be they want the album to be ready to go and and you got so much music out they want to hit that hit them in head with that one at a good time and they ready for that one what's the name of that one definitely definitely oh my god it's such an inspiration you can take a long trip you can drive it's it's beautiful and the name of that is pray Ooh, it's okay pray. And it is absolutely, absolutely a touching, thrilling, inspiration. It's the type of song that make you want to listen to it over and over and over. Yeah, I heard so, it's got a, I heard it's got a nice, yeah, mellow, smooth, mellow, smooth groove to it. Yes, you can yes. move to it, and it has, has a message. Yes. Now, who's on that song with you? Well, that song also, that's just Emmy uh, uh, Graham's "My Son," my son, my baby. Okay, uh, he's on that song. Just he and I, and also um, Midnight. It's got Midnight Beats. Midnight, midnight Beats, beats again. Too. Yeah. Midnight right. Beats yeah. again. Yeah, he's in there too. Midnight. Okay, well, well, well. You know, I know you got a busy schedule going on. Um, we we want to, you know, just know when can we expect the full album? Well, I would say you can expect the full album de uh, December. Okay. December and this and and pray would be out in November. So please tune in for pray because I tell you something. That song, like I said, it's a song that's inspiration, make you feel good, and it's 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 just awesome. We understand. It's touching, that's so fact. Please check it out. I understand. Please. We understand. Thank you. Now, now before you go, we definitely got to plug you and you got to plug all your 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 outlets and everything. But I want to ask you, where can we get? The songs you have available now. Where are they available now? Are you on you on your Spotify? Yes, I'm on Spotify. Your iTunes also. iTunes, YouTube. Okay. Um, Apple. Apple. Under under what name? Amazon. What name are you on? Are Amazon. you on the Reven R E V? Uh, yes, Reven R E V period Parker P A R K E R. Do y'all have it? If y'all look for these songs, yes. she has Mojo out. She has calling your name out. Yes. She has uh, um, he's still alive. He's yes. alive out. Yes. And her name is Reverend Parker. Yes. She's on all these platforms. So if y'all into that gospel hip hop, that bridging that fusion, go check her out because she's definitely bringing it. She's bringing a new sound, yes. a new vibe. And what I like about what she's doing is that she's. She's a very mature, beautiful woman that's doing music. That means that you can do what you want to do. No matter who you are, where you are in time, you can make anything happen. So don't give up on your dreams. Y'all see this young lady doing it right now. Give her respect. Never. Praise the Lord with her and go get that music. Reverend, thank you for your time. Thank you. And um, we'll be getting thank back you. with you shortly. Thank and you. God bless and thank you. much luck in your career. And blessings thank in your you. career. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless all. Thank you.